And they're like, what is happening? Is this my fight club? What's going to happen? Um, this is actually from the book, but it works well in a reading as well. I apologize in advance for offending you, because you are going to listen uh, to and giggle at non sequiturs about Hitler and abortion and poverty, and you will feel superior to all the uptight, easily offended people who need to learn how to take a fucking joke. <laughs> but somewhere in here you will hear one random thing that you are sensitive about, and everyone else will think it's hysterical, but you will think, oh, that is way over the line. <laughs> I apologize for that one thing, honestly, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the reading that I'm going to do is, um, are we in the kids section? I think we are. <laughs> 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 Ready, kids, you're going to learn some new words. <laughs> the reading I'm going to do is called The Psychopath on the Other Side of the Bathroom Door. Yes. A few weeks ago, my friend Lana told me that her doctor told her that her antidepressants weren't working because she had too many toxins in her body and that she needed a colon cleanse to flush everything out of her system. It sounded completely insane, and I told her that. But then she mentioned that when she took the colon cleanse, she lost three pounds that very day, and I was immediately in. <laughs> I convinced myself that I owed it to my family to have my crazy pills work properly, but really I just wanted to lose three pounds without working out, and that whole last event sort of proved why I need to be on crazy pills to begin with. <laughs> so I went to the grocery store, but I couldn't find the colon cleanse. I considered asking the pharmacist, but as I was waiting in line, I had a conversation in my head that went something like this. Um, yes, I'd like some colon cleanse. <laughs> I've never heard of that, he said in my mind. Sounds like something deviant to you. <laughs> no, no, it's something that cleans out your colon so that your antidepressants work better. <laughs> I think you're using your antidepressants wrong. <laughs> in your mouth. <laughs> you are surprisingly unhelpful for a healthcare worker. I'm calling the police, you deviant. And I'm not sure why I jumped right to the pharmacist calling the police, but once the thought was in my head, it was stuck there. So I panicked a little when the pharmacist asked what I actually needed. I uh, paused awkwardly and then asked where the reading glasses were, and then he said that they didn't carry reading glasses, which is weird because most pharmacies do. And I always like to try them on and pretend that I'm a naughty librarian. <laughs> so instead of the colon cleanse, I decided that I would just take an x lax because I figured next best thing, right? <laughs> I bought the extra strength stuff because it was the same price as the regular strength, and so technically it was like I was saving money. <laughs> later when my husband, Victor, demanded to know why I had bought $20 worth of unnecessary laxatives. <laughs> Although it turned out later that he didn't really care about cost effectiveness because he hates being economically feasible or just wants me to be fat or something. <laughs> I already knew he'd be all judgy about the whole thing because he was also very unsupportive when I wanted to buy those Chinese foot pad things that suck all the toxins out of your feet while you sleep. <laughs> Chinese foot pad things were a scam, but I think it's just because he wants me to suffer or possibly that he's a racist. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I called him a racist, he got all mad and screamy, and I was all, I don't even know what I'm saying, those are the toxins talking. <laughs> but he still wouldn't let me buy them. And this is exactly why I waited until the week that he left for a business trip to New York to actually do the cleanse. I took two chocolatey squares of x that night, but then I noticed that the direction said that it would bring gentle results. And it seemed like a good colon cleansing shouldn't be gentle at all. <laughs> so I took three more tests. <laughs> and they were chocolatey and delicious, and I was kind of hungry, so I ate another one. <laughs> and then, nothing happened at all. So the next morning, I took two more. <laughs> that maybe there was something wrong with me and I had some sort of freakishly high laxative tolerance. And then I went to Starbucks and I picked up a giant frappuccino. <laughs> See, you guys get it. I didn't know.
frappuccino, <laughs> and then my intestines exploded. <laughs> I mean, they didn't literally explode, but it totally felt that way. And at first I was all, okay, pain is good, feel the burn. But then I thought to myself that this was not like yoga. And I realized that I had, in fact, made a horrible, horrible mistake. I'm not going to get graphic here, but it basically felt like my legs had melted and an elephant had crawled inside my stomach and was flying his way out. And the elephant had claws. His nose was made of snakes. <laughs> Since Victor was in New York and my daughter Haley was in school, I had the house to myself, which was good because honestly, there would have been no way to maintain the sensual mystery of womanhood. <laughs> had anyone heard the noises coming from that bathroom? <laughs> At a certain point, I started worrying that I might be ODing. <laughs> I wasn't sure what ODing on laxatives actually looked like, but I was fairly certain that it would be messy and you'd probably shit out your entire colon. <laughs> I'm not actually even sure if this is medically possible. And I thought about calling Lana to ask her whether she felt like she was shitting out her colon when she did her twins, but I wasn't sure that I could talk without screaming and also I didn't have her phone number. <laughs> So I sat there thinking that this would be a horrible way to die because basically, no matter what I had accomplished in life, it would always be overshadowed by, and then she died on the toilet from pooping out her own lower intestines. <laughs> like it would happen to Thomas Edison. That would probably be the first thing that it would say in his Wikipedia entry. It would be all Thomas Edison who pooped out his own toilet. <laughs> So I found some Pepto Bismol and I took a cool dose. I considered taking more, but at this point I was concerned I might have to call 911 for help. And I didn't want to have to explain why I had taken three times the recommended amount of laxatives and three times the recommended amount of antidiarrheal medicine. Because even to me that sounded like some sort of poorly planned suicide. dose of the anti-diarrheal seems somewhat rational comparatively. Surely I thought to myself this will make me seem more credible and less likely to be put on suicide watch. <laughs> of course the Pepto Bismol was no match for the raw power of the x <laughs> It was much like wearing shin guards in the middle of a tornado. <laughs> Except even less effective because at least the shin guards when they found your body later you could still wear a skirt in your coffin. <laughs> Unless your legs aren't ripped off entirely, which could totally happen. <laughs> but the Pepto Bismol didn't do anything at all except turn my tongue black. Um, interesting side note on this: when I wrote this book, I actually thought that everyone, when they ate Pepto Bismol, it turned your tongue black. It turns out it's only like one in six people, and so basically five, six of the people that read this book are like, "What the fuck is she talking about?" <laughs> and the other one, six, are like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> I know that is because Petro Bismol contacted me. <laughs>